Hey everybody, it's Mike Venus. I'm back. And I'm doing this video. This is a video I promised to do a while back. It was a guy who um who's a subscriber. Um shout out to Fifth Seal. Follow him. I put I'll put the link to his um his channel in the comment section and in the description on this video. Um he he wanted to know more about the Akai Force. And because he, he comes from the NPC background, he's been working with them for all his career. So the Akai Force, right? Let me break some stuff down. Number one, the way Akai market these two devices, the NPC line and the Akai Force, they, they market them according to specific genres, right? Meaning you can still do whatever you can or whatever you want, but just understand that the NPC, most of the the, the stock sounds, right? Um, samples, kits, MIDI, um, loops that come with it straight out the box is more catered and templates you know, once they made, come out the box straight for hip hop, R and B, um, that type of genre, trap, all that. It's not that many house or EDM type, um, like key groups and and kits in there, out the box. The complete opposite is for the force. The force. I think it only has like maybe a few hip hop and possibly trap and grime type um, kits, loops, MIDI, um, samples, right? Straight out the box. But mainly most of the, the demo projects, the, the already made templates is more catered towards EDM, electronic dance music right now with that said the firmware is is basically identical so if you have somewhat of an understanding of the npc um, software or firmware that comes in it you won't you won't have much of a problem in the force because they share the same basically the same firmware it's just this one's at 3.1.3 now while this one's still at 2.10.1 or 2, something like that, right? So that that is, that's the only thing that's somewhat similar. The difference is, like I said, this machine, the Force was basically marketed towards EDM type producers as a means of them to produce music one, right? Or at least make projects initially but where is that now to produce music and then to um if they want to live perform to do it on this machine right giving them almost an ableton launch pad type workflow with the clip launching where this one is the npc type workflow it's not on the kai force it's more clip launching it's more like ableton or using a launch pad Okay, that that's some of the major differences. Now, the reason why I said that the Kai Force is great for beat makers is because as a producer, excuse me, I feel like in today's forms of hip hop, like trap, drill, um, things like that, most of those styles, not all of them, I'm not saying every producer does this, but most of it can be programmed. And the Akai Force, because like I said, it's kind of laid out like Ableton, a launch pad, which are great for programming because it's step sequencers and stuff like that. So if you are used to producing beats in that fashion, the Force will be great. That's why I said like, um, this is this is easy. You know, because I do a balance. Yeah, I come from a a, a musicianship 
um, background playing the guitar. But like I said, I suffer some injuries to my hand, my picking hand, and also I have issues with my neck, which affects um, the timing between my right and left hand and also the strength in my left hand. So making the transition from playing an instrument to now being more focused on music production, I find that I spend more time on the force than on the NPC. And by me adding the Launchpad Pro Mod 3 to the NPC, it's almost like having the force type setup. You understand? So that's that's the major thing. So if you if you use the programming, you know, your patterns and stuff like that, the force is 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 the way to go. Um but just understand that most of the samples and stock programs, um kits, patterns and stuff is more catered towards EDM music electronic dance music, then hip hop, then traditional hip hop, like boom bap and um, um, trap. Um, now it's drill, uh, grind. So just, you know, be aware of that. Now I'll say this, the force is the centerpiece of my studio. Okay. Like, Literally, if I wanted to, I could sell the NPC, I could sell my hair rush looper board and be very well content with just having my launch pad and the force and be able to produce music. Or even if I sold my launch pad and I just had the force, I feel very confident that I, I could still conduct and run a studio with just this device because I'm able to hook up a mic, a condenser mic, to one of the inputs um and if i had an additional sound source i can plug that into like my guitar i can plug that into the other input and still record music if i wanted to do that so this is a this is a powerhouse but also you got to understand the npc has a history right so you know People gonna go more for this. And like I said, if you have the ability or you're more familiar and comfortable with the NPC workflow, the NPC layout, the, the way it's built, then stick with this. Because if, if you jump in from this to the force, you, you it might be too much. It just might be too much. That would be my advice, you know? I went from working on a clip launch, clip based type workflow on the iOS. So to me, I'm more familiar with that because that's how I started out. So this is just a more tactile, physical um, expression of that. That's why I do so well with the force because I'm used to that workflow. With an NPC, I struggle with it from the jump, but I had basically, this was. You know, I didn't want to keep working on my phone, so I used this, and I got pretty good at it. So, having that experience with both machines, this goes back to preference and familiarity. If you're not familiar with the clip launch workflow, you never worked in a DAW like Ableton and, and produce on the push, or you never used the launch pad to produce music, then the force might not be for you. It just might not. You know, because now these things is almost equal in price, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, they're both twelve ninety nine, so that's thirteen hundred. And like I said, if you're more familiar with that type of clip launching and you know step sequencing type workflow, then and you want to do standalone, th this is perfect. Because I personally, I don't see. And this is to anybody out there that's buying these and using them as like controllers for their doll. You you better off buying like if you got Ableton, I wouldn't buy the Force just to use it as a controller for Ableton because you're better off saving almost like 40 40 percent of what you're gonna pay for this hell half and buy you a push brand new out the box or used. 
and you will save half of the price of buying the force. And you won't have to deal with trying to understand the NPC software, firmware type workflow with Ableton and its own, you know, Ableton uh, doll world. And it's a lot in there. So, yeah. You know, if you got Ableton, just get you a Launchpad Pro Mark III if you ain't trying to bust your wallet or just get you a Push 2. Those are both perfect uh, controllers for um, Ableton. But the Force, no. No, because you, you're limited in how much you can use this with Ableton. So until they upgrade it and get it to where you can actually use this as a controller for Ableton either directly linked to it or using Ableton Link, hey, that's something you want to hope for, be my guest, spend 13, 1300. But if, like I said, if you use to the NPC and you use to that workflow and you know it like the back of your hand, I wouldn't switch up. Cause like with, with this guy, he's been in the game so long, it ain't really no point in trying to jump on this because you already know this. You know what I'm saying? And from the older NPCs to the newer ones, that's a big ass jump in itself, you know? So that'll be my personal um, advice to anyone that might be considering purchasing the Akai Forest or curious of trying it. I would suggest um, if you got the NPC Live or the NPC X or the NPC one, get you a Launchpad Pro Mark III, right? It has a step sequencer in there, four track step sequencer. It gives you eight patterns per um, track and you got 16 scenes. Yeah, that you can, you can program. Work with that, see if you like working with that in conjunction with the NPC. If you like that, and you you really good with that, then you might think about getting a force. You understand? But if that ain't what you like, you ain't dropping, you saving yourself at least at least nine hundred dollars. If you just buy the imp, you know, the, the Launchpad Pro Mark III, try it out as a MIDI controller with the with the MPC. See how you like it. If you like it, and that's what you want. And you feel like dropping thirteen hundred? Get you a force. If you you try it out, you don't like it. The best thing you could do is just flip the launch pad, and then just work with your NPC, and you save yourself thirteen hundred, at least at least a G. That's my my advice. You know what I'm saying? From Mike. So I know it's been a while. I promised to do this video alone a while back, but I kind of get distracted with other stuff. So I apologize for that, but yeah, that is the differences between the Akai Force and the Akai NPC line, okay? Um, but um, yeah, I would say that this device is more or less, you, you develop more muscle memory because it's more buttons and with the secondary functions, but like I said, if you ain't, you, you're not big on the clip launch or clip based workflow, this might not be your speed. That's just me. You know what I'm saying? And if you just a sample based producer, meaning you build your sounds or you get your sounds from records or other sound sources to make your, your music, you might want to stick with the NPC. Yes, the Force has the same sampling um, engine or, you know, uh, editing and all that as the NPC, but um, like I said, it's a different type of workflow. So with that, y'all be blessed. I'll come back later on and make another video um, addressing another subject that um, another subscriber asked me to do, which is to show how to use simultaneous play, um, you know, for your performances. I'm, I'm going to probably do that on the NPC. It's still translatable to the Force because they use the same drum pro, uh, drum program. So, you know, just translate, okay? So with that, y'all be blessed. It's Mike Venus. I'm out.